Hi Yarnabies, how are you today? Well, today is kind of a quick video. Uh, I am just going to show you something that I came across and uh, I tried it out. So, um, apologe unapologetically mocha crochet and crafts came out, out with a cowl, a cowl, cal, C-A-L, cal, <laughs> crochet along. And the crochet along was called the Love Shrug Cow. Okay. I felt when I joined this cow, because I've never joined a cow before. And I thought when I joined it, I thought maybe I'm being a little overzealous. Maybe I'm, you know, like, can I do this? I don't know, because it's filet crochet. Never done a filet crochet in my life. Uh, but I thought, you know what? I'm just going to put myself out there. <laughs> and see how it goes. So um, I did. Okay, now uh, she did put a, a, a little short video out showing the cow that she did, and, or the shrug that she did, and um, she had all her information down below. Okay, I'm going to have a link down below to her Facebook page, because that's where you get the pattern and everything, and it is a free pattern but you have to be part of her group. She's got two different Facebook pages. One is her regular Facebook page and the other one is for the, the group. Okay, um, I guess she figured that it was easier to do it that way so that everybody's in one spot. Okay, um, so her cowl, a cow, oh, not cowl, her shrug was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Okay. And originally I was going to use, what was I going to use? Sweet roll? No, I ended up using a sweet roll. I can't remember. Um, oh, Manala Ombre. I, originally that's what I was going to use. For a person that doesn't like using small yarn and a small hook, that was not the right choice for me. So I had to pivot. And I had to use something different. So I ended up using the sweet roll and it was a lot better. I think it was a sweet roll I used. Well, I forgot to bring it in now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a sweet roll. Um, so, but the one that I chose was like a variegated, not variegated, but yeah, it changes color so fast. It was also not the right yarn. It should have been more of a plain yarn, uh, just a solid color or something, or something that had um, a color changes later on or something because mine's really busy. It took me a bit of time to figure out how to do this pattern because I've never done filet crochet before. I was so frustrated. I, my count was off. I couldn't figure out where my fillet part was supposed to go. And oh, I was just, I frogged it probably about five times. And I, I was texting Heather the crochet witch because she does fillet crochet all the time. And I said, I can't figure this out. Oh, hang on. George's phone's ringing. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. <clears throat> so yeah, my yarn choice not a good idea. And so, um, but yeah, I had such a, a hard time figuring this out. And then when I messaged um, Heather, she asked me a couple questions and I was like, oh, okay, wait a minute. Ripped the whole thing out again, started over. And then all of a sudden clicked and I got it and I was like, oh, duh. Okay, so I hope you can see this because it's like if I had something white behind it, it might be better. But see what I mean? It's so busy that it's kind of hard to see. But these, maybe if I put this behind it. Ah, there you go. They're hearts. Okay. It would probably be 
a good idea for me to do just a big white strip like a crochet a strip and then put it together but yeah so anyways it's hearts all the way along there's one two three four five all together so <clears throat> but yeah it would have been it would have been way better if I had have had a, a solid color to do this because it just doesn't it just doesn't show up my bad but yeah <clears throat> so yeah it's uh for my first time it's like okay whatever right <laughs> um another thing that i found was that in the pattern it says to do you could do either a chain and then the double crochets or you could do the foundationless double crochet um I, if you've been with me for a while, you know I love doing the foundationless double crochet. In this case, it was the wrong choice because with a foundationless double crochet, it has some give to it. it it's great for if you're doing a sweater or something, it gives you a little extra um, ease at the bottom. This you don't want ease with. So I don't know if you can see the bottom of this is really loosey goosey and it's kind of bowed the whole thing because the whole thing is tight on the top and then it's all loosey goosey on the bottom. So um, if I was ever to do this again, I would do just the double uh, the chain on the bottom and then the row of double crochet. So yeah, you can can you see it's kind of oops. Can you see that? Yeah. So yeah. Um but other than that, I mean it, it's a very pretty pattern. Uh, I mean, a pretty pattern, a pretty <laughs> shrug. I just, because I've never done it before and I'm not familiar with um, filet crochet, I didn't know, I didn't know not to use this kind of yarn and stuff. So I didn't know what to expect. So it was a good learning curve. Uh, but yeah. Um, also, when you go into her group, she's got a place for you to download the pattern. Now, she's got a PFD version and a Word version, and I believe it's the Word version that has a mistake in it, which really kind of messed me up. So, the download the PD, PFD version. Okay, um, I don't know if she's gone and fixed the word version or not um but yeah there's a accounting error in that version so do the pf pdf p tf pdf pdf version <laughs> um of that pattern but i i really encourage you to go and check this out go check out hers and every there's pictures of every I haven't put my picture in yet because it's like <laughs> yeah um but I encourage you to go and see everybody else's uh pattern or um shrug oh my words today they just escaped me <laughs> so <laughs> anyways I will put the link down below <laughs> okay uh so I will, I guess I will talk to you guys later and don't do what I did. Use something that's actually going to show up the, show the hearts up better. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks for joining me. I will talk to you later. Bye. Bye.